This is gonna be a ride up there when I get at the top. It is so windy right now. windy. Pushing me all over the place, pushing the street top all over the place. Welcome to the video. Let me show you what's going on today. Entry exit point and tree that's being removed. Huge cedar. And look what I'm dealing with here. Pavers, concrete, pavers, rock design. This is the tree. Look at the side. Look back here. Look at this. <laughs> it's up against the buildings. And this whole thing's coming down. Here's the other side, the other view. Truck's parked over here. We're going to stage branches in this area. And there's three of us. Me, Jake, and Eric, as usual. Should be cool. You can see there's some challenges here. I'm going to rig down all the stem wood. Which isn't common for us to do. So that'll be a fun experience. Hey, Jake. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm ready to get in the tree. It is... 8:48. Wake up, watch. I've got 353 steps in. Funny thing is, is when I'm climbing, it counts my steps. I don't know how accurate that is, but if I remember, I'll show you guys later what I'm at after climbing this thing all day. Jake, can you hold up the stein of the tree? Thanks. So this has to go all the way around the tree. You have to grab it from that side, Eric. Come down a little bit on the strap on the back side. Okay. Good working strap. Biggest freaking ratchet strap ever made. Okay. Right there? Yep. You just have to not bang it up when it comes time to chunk. Yeah. Well, when it comes time to chunk, we can take it off. Maybe move it back to the center. Yeah, or even off to this side over here. That's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. My foot line's almost maxed out. Wow, that's crazy. What are you doing me over here? I feel like get past that building because it's like up against the building. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to. Are you going to go through it? You just got to get past it. You, you just got to kind of jimmy it. It's a little shake and bake. There we go. Oh, a little shake and bake over here now. That's going to be a little tighter. Gutter's busted. Oh, fix the gutter now. Just kidding. What the heck? How'd you get that one off? I couldn't get that one. <sighs> Some of us are just built different. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh yeah, but I'm getting a dog today. Cane Corso. Eight weeks old. Okay, here it goes. Time to get to work. What you think about Jake? <laughs> I just had the camera on you for like 20 seconds, she's unimpressed. <laughs> Here's a quick update. I am currently trying to get <laughs> as soon as I start the camera, I don't get the flip line around the freaking tree. Are you kidding me? Come on. There we go. Anyways, what I was saying was. I'm basically just cutting everything I can on the way up. I'll be still here. You can see the way the wind's blowing. Even that little bit starts to control where these limbs go as they come down. But as you can see, it's way cleaner in my path right now. I'm going to continue up, clean this stuff up, and then I'll have them send me the rig line and pulley. And then I'll come back down and we'll get some of these big limbs. Pretty straightforward stuff. 
So I'm gonna start with doing some rigging now. So Eric's hooking it up, uh, pulley in a sling. I'll pull it up and attach it to this limb right here. And I'll rig everything around me and what's below me. So the tree will be clean coming up. And then from that point on, I'll just carry it up with me and keep rigging stuff down. Now that wind's moving, that tree's already moving. That top's definitely kicking. This is gonna be a ride up there when I get to the top. Should be interesting. All right, there's the setup. Just choked around a limb. Plenty of strength there, right through this Omni block. Going down the tree and we'll just start rigging it down. First limb of, <laughs> of many. Yep, small little space. We'll have to cut that up on these awkward ones because the choke point is here between the, the fences and the house and so this all have to be cut to size here without rubbing up the house. These limbs are taking up all of our drop zone right now. Big guys. I was like over here uh, hooking up the next limb with the rigging and I turn around and I see shoop, that freaking bark man peeled all that off. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. I reached the rigging point that we set previously as you can see. So now I'm gonna work my way back up the tree, clean some more stuff up. Gotta be careful with this wind with the little stuff because I don't want the pieces flying like just flying out here and stuff. So still trying to keep it here, but the wind's kicking. Yeah, it's not so bad right now. Big branch, I'll wait till they're clear before I cut this off because it's got some weight to it. That would suck to get hit. like not looking forward to getting to the top and dealing with that. Slapper, little slap, oh, oh slappy. <laughs> all right, I'm out of gas, so I'm gonna send this all down. And the wind's kind of like gusting and then it's stopping and then it's gusting and so it's like a little unpredictable right now. It got cold on me up here, guys. I'm gonna have to put a a hoodie on under my jacket. Brr. <laughs> Woo, that's better. About time to move the rigging up. I'm gonna be halfway to the top. Well, from where I'm at right now, I'm gonna go probably halfway up more. Probably be able to see the top then.
My GoPro fell off my helmet. It's down there on the ground, so hopefully it's not broken. over here GoPro oh you're still filming you're still filming hey let me clean off the lens for you there you go all right we got to get you back to 10. dang you guys survived the fall from like I don't know 60 70 feet all the way down I'm gonna start slinging these all together I got a bunch of slings here like 30 so I'll start doing at least two at a time if not more so here's what that looks like I'll probably actually cut the first one, or the slinged up one first and then the one hanging next. But that works either way, as long as the sling can handle the weight, which it can. There's three. Bundle of three. to start slinging up as many of these as I can to speed up this process we're at 12:48. so this is taking a little longer than I would like but it's just a lot of limbs and a lot of rigging I can't toss that much anymore because of the wind <laughs> five on now we're gonna try to zip line these here goes our test our test limb we'll see if this works should work I gotta get my buff line off that. All right, here we go. Let's find out. I saw ran out of gas. That was the second tank I had to go through. dozen more limbs to do and I can't toss any of these because that wind's kicking so hard I can't do anything about it at all I'm stuck rigging them all down which sucks
of reverted. I've kind of reverted to just throwing them all the way to the drop, uh, the second drop zone, kind of, well, a drop zone I've created way out here. Look how far away from the tree that is. Because the wind's blowing so hard, I can, I can get them to go right out there. I'm really close, so I'm probably just going to keep tossing them. Might get a couple in that little tree. I'll have to get them out, but not a big deal. Oh, I'm ready to get these limbs done, dude. It is getting late. It's like 2.13 now. Oh, by the way. Hold on. 1,578 steps. I can't remember what I started with, but I know it was more than that. Or, sorry, less than that. I'm stupid. All right, back to it. Get this off. Dang, even that rope is pulling, pulling away from me, so it's just more and more pulling. This is not a fun one, guys. Not a fun removal. You know, tree work can be fun, but when it's like this and it's the wind's creating like massive issues, like this is when it's not fun. Like I, I want to just have this done right now at this point. Probably save these slings for the last few big ones here that I have. Well, big for this area of the tree. I got quite a bit here to go. Quite a bit here to go before I can top this still. Another 10 feet at least. Sure that all these little hymns hitting the camera are making a bunch of little noises so i'm trying to get them off so you guys don't have to hear that Probably almost top this. I'm gonna go a little more, just a little more, and I'll top it. All right, that'll work. I can top it here, right here. I kept this nub right here, so I had something to put my sling around. I kept a couple nubs. I'll probably actually go up to this nub just because it's there. Put my sling around it, it's in that top. Dang, that took forever. 225. Ugh. Limbing never takes us that long. There's so much. And we just had to, it just took forever because of the rigging and everything. Let me set the rigging up. There goes the face cut. <laughs> a little one because I already have the wind helping me on this. Okay, we're hooked up. Go ahead and give me 
Oh, it's not a big top. I'd go, I'd go one. Okay, it's gonna hang, but that's fine. I can hold on. Putting two wraps on the Stein. The wind's kind of calm just enough here. So here we go. You ready? I mean, it's not running, but it's perfectly safe, so that's good. You're right on that one. But it's hard, because sometimes you're not. You want to just get it over the fence? You can hold it. Yeah, I can hold it. Good. We're going to rig down some pieces of stem wood, some trunk wood. We were successful with the top, which is good. The wind, of course, calmed down as soon as I got up here, so aim into that. <laughs> I was praying on the way up. I was like, gosh dang, I need all the help I can get. I would like to uh, catch those little pieces, if I can. Ow, hit me in the wrist. Freaking still being her hurts. Okay. <laughs> There's one of many to come. I'll probably go bigger on the next ones. I just wanted to, uh, you know, test our system, make sure everybody's firing on all cylinders. Uh, one more thing to note is I'm kind of just wrapping around the stem twice to give myself kind of double the surface area with the rope. And I'm not going to do face cuts. I'm going to cut through the front and then I'll put my rope on. And the reason for that is because I don't want the little face cut chunks coming out and hitting this tarp or this plastic down here. I just don't want it banging stuff up. I don't need to, uh, I'm not doing big pieces, so I don't need to do massive face cuts. I can easily cut through it, meet up my line here and just push it over. It's no problem. And the wind's blowing this way too. So that's my re reason for that. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. It's no problem. Everything's working correctly. So you see how that, you know, I was a little under on this corner, but perfect on that side. It doesn't matter. I'm just pushing them over lightly. There we go. Let's see if that's the right amount of weight. Looks like it is. He's doing what he's doing it with one hand. So we're putting two wraps on the Stein. That's how we're doing it right now. Yeah, I was burying that saw, so I'll go uh, get a bigger saw up here next time. All right, so I basically maxed out the sling that I'm using. It's, uh, it's not big enough to go around the tree anymore. And also the 261 is too small, so I'm going to switch over to the 500i. Yeah, this thing's too small. Everything else is still good here. I just, I can't go around the tree enough with it just maxed out. working is that what we're doing today working dude <laughs> puts a dent in it put a dent in it yep. right here okay uh -oh. Huh. So let's I not. We should put brush under it. Let's so. not do it. Uh, put it up. Cover the pavers. I'll just throw it in the gravel. Yeah, I can keep it in the gravel.
cracked it. apart now which isn't a bad deal because it kind of helps me deal with it because it's freaking heavy and I'm out of energy too it's tired <laughs> that's one piece of course, the big piece is going to be one piece. Oh, I can't even move it. I'm so tired. Oh, Jesus. Insane. I'm having to cut these into sections now. Four, four sections here to be able to move them. And I'm cutting them short too. That's like a foot, it's like 12 inch pieces. I'm up against the building now on this side. Um, there's a piece of the center. Hello, anybody in there? Nope. One, two, three. Jesus. Two, three. It's all, I mean, it's separated, it's just stuck. Okay, one, two, three. That soft wood, man. Yeah. It's just, it's just. That's why I've been fighting it this whole time. It's so hard to yeah. push. You okay. want to hook up to the mini? Yeah. Well. This is with my phone, so hopefully this turns out, but here's where we're at so far. A couple more pieces here to get. Building's in good shape. These pieces were just huge. Just like the shell shock coming down alone into the gravel was just insane. We'll finish this up and I'll get one more shot of this. Here's the end result. That's gonna get fixed. And that's gonna get fixed. And there's the massive stump. Big old boy. It's got kind of a shape to it. I'm gonna come back in the tomorrow and pick this thing up and do just a final little polish on it, but the structures are intact. That's the important part. But yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. <laughs> Wait, let me see how many steps I have. Oh, it only says 2,700. I think I started off with 300, though. Oh. Later, guys.